Hi everyone, we're Sean and Julie Chickory, and we're here with Dennis, the CEO of Battleborn Batteries, and Lance and Flo Wendy from Wheeling with the Wendy's talking about off-grid living and the benefits of solar and lithium power. So Lance and Flo, can you start just by telling us a little bit about your power setup? So we've got uh, 2,400 watts of solar on the roof. I've got a 3,000 watt Magnum Hybrid inverter with uh, two PT100 solar controllers and 10 Battleborn batteries. Considering the size of your power system, do you ever worry about power at all? Are you ever running it pretty low or do you even think about it? <laughs> Not... she, can, she can talk about this one. Um, the only thing I can say is that uh, I have peace of mind now and the way I told Lance um, when we were hitting the road I wanted to do more boondocking and be able to use anything in the rig just like I was living in the sticks and bricks and not to worry. What was your longest stretch of boondocking that you've done? So far the two months that we did January straight. and February we were straight and our only limiting factor was our black tank. We could we could go forever with with the batteries. You have a uh, 40 plus foot grand design momentum, correct? Yes. Yeah, yes, so we it's have a, a, It's a big rig. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like your old one was. It's a big one. So it takes it takes a good bit of power for every even running the furnace. You yes. know, it, it it runs a lot longer than it would if we were in a little class B or you know something like that. So. That's probably the, the biggest, one of our biggest draws is the, when, we, when we have cold weather with the furnace. Now, another thing that Lance did was really good is that, you know, you know, summertime's coming. I wanted to talk to him about the air conditioning units because we have three. And he was able to, whatever you did, because you can elaborate on that, but we can run, not all three of them at the same time, but we can run our air conditioning units on the battleborne batteries. I, I added the micro air easy starts and uh, and I have one of the air conditioners on the on the uh, inverter circuit so and I've tested it it works awesome how low have you taken your battery bank one time a while back I took it down to whatever it was that it shut it shut down and kicked on the generator we were and that was how I learned that I had an auto gen start Yes. I didn't even know I had it before then. We didn't then. know. We were like, what's that sound? We heard it like. It was in the middle of the night. <laughs> it was in the cold and the heater was, you know, furnace was running. And, and I kept hearing this sound. And I'm like, is that our furnace going up? Because <laughs> I, I never heard it from the bedroom before. Because we always ran off, you know, off the batteries. And so it, I, I'm, I think it shut down at 12 volts was when it kicked on. I think that's what the setting was for the autogen start. You guys both work full time. Um, has, how has the, uh, the, the addition of the lithium batteries contributed to your ability to do that? I mean, we have power anytime we want. I, I don't have to worry about it and I don't have to worry about taking it to a certain level. I mean, like I said, it, we've only really taken them down once oh, as far as they would go to have the generator kick on. I think before that, We've had a couple of cloudy days and we've gotten down to about 30%. So it's just, it, the whole thing is just not, not needing to worry about it. And that was one of her big things. She said, I'll, I'll boondock, I'll, I'll go out as long as you want, but I don't want to have to worry about any electrical power issues. And, you know, I, can I run this? Can I run that? She, she wanted to live like we were living in a house and that's what we set up for pretty much. What are you guys doing for fun when you're boondocking and not working? Um, a lot of walking by ourselves our on the bikes we go hiking we've been doing some driving just driving around enjoying the scenery we're uh we're about an hour west in Pahrump from Vegas so there's pretty mountains around here it was snowing last night we're just enjoying being out even though we're in a park it's the the beauty of you know being in nature even though we're in a park where I'm, I'm looking right now there, there's snow on the mountains and it's, you know, it's probably 60, 65 degrees today. So we've, we've just been, you know, doing so, that kind of stuff. So for me, 
I like to see people once in a while. And um, here's a good example of how we just live our life like we would at home because we would have parties and entertain. So we were out boondocking at Quartzite and we had an old friend from back home in Pennsylvania that was coming through the area. And we were boondocking in Quartzite. And she's like, oh my gosh, I wanna come see your place and see how you're doing this. She didn't even know what it was. Yeah. So anyways, just to give you an example, so I wake up, I clean, I vacuum, um, I prepare all my food, the um, hors d'oeuvres, get the drinks, I have my little um, little electric scentsy thing to make it smell good in here, and it was a happy hour. They came with their friends, and it was like, we, my friend was like, she was I, blown away. We were in the middle of the desert. That we were boondocking, and I had prepped and did what I did on the batteries. <laughs> she was totally blown away. That her friends too. They they were just so um, amazed at how we're living. We kind of take it for granted because this is how we <laughs> live, and you you kind of forget how how this can right. get you out there and stay out there. I mean, we were you know we told her we were out there for a month and a half at that point, and she was to. It, she was blown away it was it was pretty cool to see somebody so excited that and the view that we had she was like look at your your neighbors are really far away and uh, she was just she thought it was incredible that we could do this and have the freedom that we do to just boondock anywhere i know so many people think of boondocking or dry camping as like roughing it but you guys i think are really the perfect example of it's not it's like the glamping life. I mean, you guys, I see the pictures you share on social media. And of course I've seen your RV in person too. And you have like the electric uh, fireplace and you've got the TV going and just all of the comforts of home. Like you said, none of that really holds you back. So it really isn't any type of sacrifice right now. Yeah, I mean, I actually have an elect, you know, cause we're limited on wall space. And I asked Lance when we got the batteries, I'm like, can I have an electric, um, one of those photo frames that, sh and I have one and I have my family in there, my friends, you guys are in there and I get to, and it's an electric uh, photo frame that I plug up every day. So that's the, the stuff that I wanted to be able to have while living here in our RV is to be able to have those amenities and, the little tiny things that make it feel like home. Okay, well, thanks so much for joining us, and we really appreciate you taking the time. And it's like Dennis said, it's great to see people uh, living their quote unquote normal life while uh, many people are are sort of high anxiety, high stress uh, in this situation. And you guys are evidence that you know off grid living can be normal and not rough at all. So uh, appreciate you taking the time. And if people want to follow you guys on social media or anything, how do they find you guys? Uh, we're on Facebook as Wheel with the Wendy's. Uh, we started a YouTube channel, but we haven't really gotten much with it because we work full time still. So it's, it's a little hard. And we're on Instagram also as Wheel with the Wendy's. Okay, great. Well, thanks so much and uh, really appreciate it.